this is Otis Madeleine here as always and your baby girl I am here as you all can see from the title I'm here to tell you to avoid doing this to your relaxed hair okay as a relaxed girl there are certain things you should avoid practically avoid it and you are going to see health length and all that good stuff okay so follow me on instagram i am otis madeline tiktok otis madeline 2 the number two like this okay follow me on snapchat otis madeline facebook otis madeline facebook page otis madeline lifestyle and instagram i've said that already otis madeline so and on youtube here Otis Madeline, so subscribe, like, share, and comment down below. Let's dive into the video. I'm not gonna talk too much. So, Let's my go. loves, the first thing that I want to emphasize on and hit that point very well is please do not use a relaxer as a detangler. Why am I saying you shouldn't use a relaxer as a detangler? I've seen a couple of people. I've seen people and I have been a witness. Like, I've been a witness before. There was one lady who was like, uh, it's very difficult for me to comb my hair. So I am going to relax my hair. Whether it is combed or not, I'm going to do that. And with my own naked eyes. Okay. Yeah. The naked eyes. <laughs> This, the hair that came out was out of this world. The hair that came out was out of this world. So please and please do not use a relaxer as a detangler. That is what I'm saying as a detangler because it is not a detangler. It's something that needs to get your hair straight. So it shouldn't be in a position where your hair is tangled it should be tangled free before you go in and relax your hair if not you're going to see the hair and be like no this relaxer is not good the relaxer is good but you wanted it to be a detangler so it's 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 doing the detangling job for you <laughs> it's doing it for you right yeah and the second point that i want to say if you are about to use a shampoo for the first time my sweetheart i beg of you work in sections don't go ahead and apply all the shampoo on your hair if because you are going to regret that decision you're going to get set back okay please do not use all the shampoo and all of the hair because it's your first time using it and you don't know what is going to cause your hair so please try and work your way in sections and know whether it's good for you if not it's going to tangle together and even a conditioner cannot save you that much so please work your way out in sections and know whether the shampoo is good for you before because if you have seen the review that i did on pantene and normally i wash my hair in sections because as my hair is getting longer i have longer. let me show you okay despite the fact that my hair is long and i need to wash in sections if i'm getting any product even if my hair tends to be short that is a decision that i'm going to take on later i'm going to cut a little bit more because I had a setback if you have not watched my previous video kindly go and click after this okay and watch that video even after my setback that i cut my hair my hair is still looking longer and i want to take away a little bit stress you know i want to cut it a bit to be here so that moment is gonna come i don't know when maybe two months time when i relax my hair maybe but maybe Maybe I can even do that next week and come and show you all. So make sure you work your way out when you're using the shampoo for the very first time. Make sure you wash it in sections, okay? And the third point that I want to emphasize on is wash days. When and when should you wash your hair? For people who have dandruff and who have scalp issues, okay then you are recommended to wash your hair every week to treat your scalp but if you're somebody like me see this it's been two weeks now but my scalp is still looking clean 
this is two weeks now since i washed my hair it's still clean so i wash my hair every three weeks only when i want to do a co-wash if it's time for co-washing then every two weeks if i want to do a co-wash then two weeks time i need to do a co-wash okay i do a co-wash but if my scalp is not dirty and i need to use maybe a clarifying shampoo or, or something like that it's three weeks so study your hair and know what is best for your hair avoid doing that because avoid washing your hair every week because people are doing that every week so you want to do that she has healthy hair and that means it's because she wash her hair every week that is what is helping her no everyone's hair is different if you do that i've been i've been there before i've been there before i'm like oh this lady has healthy hair and she washes her hair every week so that means i should wash my hair every week also and it's gonna look healthy and longer sis when i started doing that my hair started becoming more lighter and i didn't have a 4c hair so it kept on becoming more light and i didn't understand so i was like nah i'm gonna stop washing my hair every week because i see a lot of hair coming now i'm gonna stop and wash my hair every two weeks and see okay two weeks and i was seeing certain improvements i'm like okay then i'm gonna go three weeks do a protective style take it down after three weeks and then see what goes on okay and was helping me so every three weeks is when i wash my and the fourth one that i want to talk about right now is combing how often should you comb your hair as a relaxed girl natural hair girls it is it is a must for them to comb their hair because of how the humidity could soak in and uh, shrinkage and all that for us relaxed girls you are not supposed to be combing your hair like in a day combing your hair like three times in a day sus what are you looking for combing your hair for me i don't comb my hair often like that and the more i see my hair on me the more i comb it so i avoid it by braiding it and leaving it alone because me for me immediately i get in front of the mirror like this and i see my hair i'm gonna comb it <laughs> I'm going to look for my comb and comb my hair. So I'm the type that if I wash my hair, immediately I'm done washing my hair. I give it a twist and then I tuck it at the back. I don't want to be in trouble. If you're like me, then do this method and it's going to help you. Stop combing your hair all the time. Your hair is going to shed more and it's going to cause your hair to thin so please avoid that and the last thing that i want to try and tell you all is please learn how to balance your protein because if you get protein overload it's not going to be easy like that for you it's not going to be easy you're going to go through a lot and it can cause the hair to damage and it can cause it to break and you wouldn't love how it's looking so you eventually go and cut your hair and feel like relax hair is not for me it's for you but you just don't know how to balance things you don't you just don't know how to use the things in its right purpose you understand so yeah that is what i have for you here today don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you think this tips it's going to be helpful to you. Comment down below and let your baby girl know. I love you and continue to be a blessing to the world. I love you. Bye.